morning. Happy Wednesday. It is July 31st. Lummis is just around the corner. Yeah. Got my tea this morning. Um, how are y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? My name is Renee Olson, as you know. I am the News Herder Witch, and I'm here for your single card pull. I did want to share something with all you, my fellow short people. <clears throat> About two months ago, uh, I went to the what we call the pottery. It's uh, like a set of shops um, for like um, merchandise that's uh, outlet type thing. They've got like the Levi store and all these different stores there, Tupperware, and, you know, Torrid and all those kinds of things. Nike, Adidas, all of that, <clears throat> and a Levi store. And I went there and I found something called the Wedgie. Never heard of it before in my life. Um, apparently it's been out for quite a while, but they are made for a specific body type. My body type. Super excited. I know this is weird. I'm gonna stand up really quick and hopefully you can see them. They are super cute. I absolutely love them. Um, I got uh, 28 28s and they are long enough that I can wear uh, heels if I wanna wear like a wedge sandal or something and uh, just great. I know, random, totally random. Um, but when I saw them, I wanted to share a, a uh, picture of them and uh, you know, it's like, everybody knows about wedgies and I went and looked them up. Like they've been around since 2018. I'm like, where have I been? Where have I been that I missed the wedgie? So if you're a person who is short um, and you have like a very square boxy cut, um, I'm not, I wish I were an hourglass, but I'm not. Check that out, it's a, it's a great cut. Um, and tell me what you think. What's your favorite cut? Um, do you like 501s? Are you a button fly, zipper? What do you think? Um, I absolutely love the button fly. It's really cool. So that's what these have, um, that wedgie cut. So anyway, not anything to do with readings, but I thought you might um, have some opinions about which type of gene you like best. So we're gonna pull a card from the River Witch Oracle. Today is the last day for the 30% uh, off discount. Um, and that includes everything on the website, uh, readings, as well as uh, the two decks, my River Witch Oracle and the uh, Crossroads Oracle. Um, so let's pull a card. All right, so I'm gonna show you the card first. And let's see what it is. Ah, Sunday dinner. All right, the keywords for Sunday dinner are connection, tradition, and renewal. So to me, um, Sunday was a time, and, and it, it's very similar in the South for most households, is after church or, and yes, everybody around here goes to church, you can't swing a stick without hitting a church. I think I, between here and town, which is about 13 miles, I think there are approximately 12 churches. Um, so, and these are all Christian denomination or Christian derived, Judeo-Christian style churches. Um, between me and town. So on Sunday, most people go to church and then after church, they meet with their families for either a late dinner or a lunch. Um, when, I, when my grandmother was still alive, we had a Sunday breakfast, right? She didn't attend services. She went when I was little, we went on Easter Sunday, but um, she didn't really go after that. She would listen to the preacher on the radio. Um, and um, so we, she would do that and we would have breakfast at her house on Sundays. And, um, you know, traditional Southern breakfast um, and everybody would come together and it was a, a very, it was a time for us to learn and to hear what was going on with everyone. Um, I remember sometimes my aunts would come from far away and that was in Dunn, um, which really isn't that far now that I think about it, but at the time it was a far away place and we would, you know, she, they would bring clothes and all the cousins would trade clothes, you know, because we, we weren't a, a rich family. So we would share uh, clothing back and forth and, and that sort of thing. Um, and, it, and it all happened there in that loving, warm, hearth environment. So that's what you're really thinking about when you think about the Sunday dinner card. You're thinking about that, cr that connection tr tr to tradition. You're thinking about that ability to reconnect. You know, it wasn't about the food. 
it really wasn't about the clothes. It was more about coming together as a family and being there for one another, learning what was going on, you know, learning about, you know, what my aunts were working on this time or what my uncle was doing or, you know, how my cousins were, were getting along. Um, that was really what it was all about. So when you think about that, think about how your connection is to your ancestors, to your family. Um, to your family of choice. You know, not everyone that we are connected to may necessarily be a, a family of choice, right? It may not be someone that we're related to by blood. It may be someone that is more, you know, someone we pick to be with. I have quite a few um, families of choice that I, I relate to very specifically. Um, and it's, uh, it's nice. Um, unfortunately, I don't have as strong as connection with my birth or blood family as I would like to have. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So find those people you connect with and bond with them. Create your own traditions. Create something for going forward. Our final word for today is renewal. So you're going to want to think about how you can repurpose or refresh what you have going on in your life. It's a great time right now. The energy is up, you know, we've got the whole I'm with her movement. Um, we've got the um, changes that are coming in um, not only our political arena, but we're seeing changes on the food front. You know, there's a lot more um, people choosing plant-based and vegan options, which are so much better for you. Um, so take, think about those three key words and bring them together into your day-to-day. -day. I hope you've enjoyed your card. Um, if you have questions, please certainly feel free to leave them in the uh, comments section. I will be having my vlog on Friday, which we're going to talk about some maybe some wellness topics or maybe some some vegan uh, ideas. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going with that yet, but I'll have something for you on Friday. Um, remember to check out the website, and if you have anything else you'd like to share, I would love to hear from you. Have a glorious day, and I hope to hear from you soon.